Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install not only MySQL Workbench, but also MySQL Server Community Edition. Uh, so the best way to go about this is to pull up a web browser, go to the search engine of your choice, and just search for MySQL uh, Workbench install. And when you search for it, uh, one of the first links you should see is directly to the MySQL website. And you can see here you have the general availability releases. This should work for most people. Uh, the only exception being that there's a couple of things that you might want to look out for. Uh, if you're on Windows, just download the latest version of the MSI installer. Should work without any issues. On Mac, uh, as of 2020, there are two different uh, platforms of processor. There is the Intel models and there are the Apple Silicon based models. Uh, if you have an Apple Silicon based model you're going to want to make sure to use the ARM version. If you have an Intel chip you're going to want to make sure you use the x86 version up here. Uh, you can tell what you have by going to the Apple icon, going to about this Mac. You can see here I have an M1 Pro chip, that's an Apple Silicon chip. If you see the word Intel there that means you need to make sure to download the non-ARM version. So since I have Apple Silicon, I'm going to go ahead and download this um, ARM version. Uh, you can just start the download. That's totally fine. And uh, while I'm doing that, I also want to make note that if you're not on the latest version of Mac OS, maybe you're a couple versions out of date, you've got a few options. One option is to update that. Uh, another option is to go back through the archive. Uh, so if we go back a page and we look at the archives here, uh, we can actually go back to prior versions of uh, MySQL Community uh, Workbench, and you could download a previous version of that. Uh, so that's the downloading the MySQL Workbench. Now we're just going to download MySQL Server Community. The reason we're using community is we want to make sure to use the free and open source version of MySQL. Uh, so go ahead and find the latest version, the latest general availability, again, for whichever platform you have. If you're on Mac, like I mentioned, you know, get the ARM if you have an Apple Silicon chip. If you have an Intel chip, make sure to get the x86 version. Let's go ahead and download that just like you did with the other file. And once you have those downloaded, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to install them like you would any other application. So I'm going over here to my uh, downloads folder where they were downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and start by installing MySQL Server. Just going to double click on this installation. I'm going to launch the installer. I'm going to allow this to be installed. Go ahead and hit continue. We're going to look through this license here and hit continue there. We'll agree to the license terms. It's kind of up to you if you want to install this for all users or if you want to install this only for a particular user. I'm going to hit continue. I'm not really going to change where I install it. It's just going to go on the standard install in the Macintosh HD. I could just hit install. If you wanted to customize it though, you could. So essentially you have some options there. We're not going to mess with that though. Uh, then once you do that, you're just going to want to enter in your password. So take a second to enter that in and then go ahead and install it. Now here's something important. Once you get to this spot, it's going to ask you for a password for the root user. Now this is a password that you're going to want to remember. If you forget it, you have to uninstall and reinstall MySQL Community Server. So you don't want to do that, so I'm going to take a second to jot this down, what I'm using. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So once you do that, you can just hit finish. And once again, it's going to ask you for your password when you're installing the application. That's normal. Go ahead and hit OK. And it should take just a second to run through this. You can see now it's complete. So you can go ahead and close it. Now I want to ask you, do you want to save the installer or move it to the trash? For me, I'm going to go ahead and move it to the trash. I don't have a real reason to keep it. 
Uh, but ultimately, if you choose to keep it, that's totally fine as well. Once I've installed my SQL Community Server on Mac, I can hop into Settings. And if you go down to the bottom of Settings, uh, you should be able to find SQL in here. Okay, so essentially, that's what you're going to want to be able to see is you'll have at the very bottom here, you'll have MySQL. And you can see that in my case, it's not started. Uh, if I were to restart my computer, this would start. I can also just click Start My SQL Server, enter in my password here, and that will also get this started. So it is important that you restart your computer or go in and do this step. Uh, so essentially, that's something that you're able to knock out. Um, now, once you've done that, you're going to want to make sure that you install MySQL Community Workbench. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch this installer, drag it into my Applications folder, and it shouldn't take much time at all to copy over and be installed and good to go. Uh, so once you've done both of these things, I do recommend that you take a moment to restart your computer, make sure that everything is started up and good to go. Uh, but the next video, we're going to be launching MySQL Workbench and going ahead and doing some basic SQL tasks. So I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great rest of your day.